Take this. Thank you. I went record. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I call the matter of the state versus Mapisa and Magula. Today is the 4th of June 2024. We are before uh, Mr. V. L. Matlangu, presiding magistrate. Appearances are as before, save for the clerk of court is Ms. D. Matabata and the interpreter I've required Mr. M. Rapulana. Thank you. Proceed. Uh, thank you. Your Worship, just to, just to recap, the matter is on the roll today for two reasons. One, to disclose the evidence to the defense. I am now doing so. It's electronic on a USB memory stick. Thank you, proceed. Thank you, sir. The second reason I indicated previously that the state contemplates adding a second accused in these proceedings. We, 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 before I, I come to the decision, that person was going to be charged with only one count of money laundering, not corruption. We have since uh, the, the previous occasion reconsidered and a decision has been taken not to add any accused. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next item on my agenda, Your Worship, is on the 4th of April 2024, which was the date of first appearance, the court issued a directive that a list of state witnesses be provided to Mrs. Mapisa Magula by the 8th of April 2024. The state duly complied. A list of witnesses was emailed to the attorneys on the 8th of April, 2024. That will be the witnesses not to be contacted by the yes. accused person. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, quite uh, correct, Your Worship. The part of the bail condition, rather conditions, was not to communicate, interfere directly or indirectly with state witnesses. So it would make sense to provide a list to the accused. Otherwise, if, if there's any eventuality uh, and the list has not been provided, how do you then hold such person accountable in terms of law, in terms of Section 66? You can't. Mm -hmm. I am now asking the defense to account to this court whether it's order or directive in respect of which the state complied was passed on to Mrs. Mapisa Nagula 
I, I, I make the point that if she was not legally represented, we would have asked the investigating officer to give the list to her, and I would have said to this court today, it was given on the state. So all I'm asking is the defense to account to the court and in the process to the state as a party to these proceedings and state on what date uh, the list was passed on to Mrs. Mapisa Ngabula. Thank you. Um, Council? As it pleases the court, Your Worship, there, um, there are two issues which I w need to withdraw draw to your attention. Colleagues speak in the passages, and my learned friend has confirmed to us that there is presently absolutely no allegation at all that there has been such interference, one, and two, the witness list was given to my client. And also, no other condition of bail has been breached. Your Worship, with, 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 with regard to the aspect of the list, my learned friend has not accounted fully to the court. The state requires the date on which the list was passed on to Mrs. Mapisa Ngabula by the attorneys. It is important for our record purposes. So I just need the date, that's all, on which it was passed on to her. Mr. Phillips, 8th of April, 2024. Thank you. Thank you. Your Worship, the, the, the next step then is to, we previously placed on record that uh, the, the, the state in, in, intends indicting Mrs. Mapisa Ngagula in the High Court and arranging her for trial there. So now that we have disclosed, the next step is to obtain a High Court date. For that purpose, there are logistics. We need to liaise with the a role coordinator in the office of the director of public prosecutions. So, Your Worship, if it pleases the court, we have arranged the 9th of July for a hard high court date. The, the previous arrangement was that the matter. Uh, would be back in court 16. So if, if it pleases the court uh, regarding the 9th of July as the postponement date for a high court date, may the matter then be postponed to court 16 for that date. Um, Advocate Manyati, as far as I recall, and we can look at the criminal procedure if it is, if needs be. Yes. It will be premature to set that high court date and uh, tell the accused to be, or, or to come to court. The procedure is that there must be an indictment presented to the accused with the date on which she will be appearing in court. Quite correct, Your Worship. The 9th of Ju July is for us as the prosecution to liaise with the register of the High Court and the role coordinator at the office of the DPP's office to get a High Court date. In other words, the 9th of July is a provisional date back to this court. On the 9th of July, we will then uh, have your worship serve Mrs. Mapisa Ngagula with an indictment and a summons to appear on the in the High Court and a date, a High Court date for first appearance will be on the summons. So, so the 9th of July is not for appearance in the High Court. 
I see. Yes. Thank you. Um, Concept Phillips, Claire Phillips. Your Worship, I confirm the arrangement. Um, and that it is satisfactory to myself, and my instructing attorney, and my client. And I confirm that the arrangement with my learned friend is satisfactory to myself, my attorney, and my client. Do, is my assumption going to be correct that um, having been favored with the contents of the state's docket, albeit on soft copy, by, you would the, between today and the 9th of July, you would have seen what it is, and if there is anything, there would be it will be taken up by them. Um, the, the it's very interesting that um, your worship raises that point. I indicated to my learned friend um, that we would be applying for the B and C section of the document. The only reason that I can think that your worship is raising what you've just raised with me is that the matter would not be trial ready for the High Court unless that application is dealt with. I canvassed that with my learned friend and he said the application could be brought in the High Court. But I, um, I abide by your worship's decision as to whether it should be brought here or in the High Court. Would you care to comment on that? Yes, Your Worship. Yes, I, 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 I agree. I did say to my learned friend, whatever um, uh, interlocutory applications they may decide to bring, uh, let it be done in the High Court, including, of course, uh, I, 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 I mentioned this because prior to enrollment, there was litigation in the High Court. Uh, one of the issues that the defense raised in the papers uh, pre-enrollment was that they needed to meet with the state and provide information with the hope that such information would uh, persuade the state to reconsider the decision to prosecute. Where I'm leading, Your Worship, is that we've agreed to reserve all interlocutory applications and other aspects, for instance, making representations, etc., for the High Court. So once, once we appear in the High Court, they can then uh, bring whatever applications or file representations if they deem fit. We just want to get it out of the lower court. That, that's the agreement. Yeah, but that is not... When the matter is started at, the, at this uh, forum, and it is to be referred to the High Court, the general understanding, with a few exceptions, um, is that when it is referred to the High Court, it is uh, trial ready. Now, that is why I'm raising the point which I have just raised, that all other applications, if there would be, all issues, if there would be, should be dealt with here. And because this is the court of first instance, um, so it will, in essence, defeat the very objective of referral to the High Court for trial in terms of uh, whether it is Section 175 or the other chapters of the criminal procedure. Your Worship, if I could refer to a, a, a real case that is currently before the High Court, we, we, we cleared this with uh, the, the Registrar and uh, the Role Coordinator. Uh, there is a matter that is currently before the Johannesburg High Court. We transferred it and, and it was made clear that requests for further particulars would only be filed once the accused have appeared there. And indeed, we appeared for the first time there. Uh, we advised the judge, and the matter was then postponed initially for, there are 15 accused, for the accused to file requests for further particulars to the state. It was given, I think, five weeks. On the return date, it was postponed again for three months, enabling the state to reply to the request. So it can be done uh, when, on first appearance in the High Court, it will not be on the trial roll it will be on the pre-trial rule where all the preliminaries are dealt with until it's trial ready. So it is allowed. It is not a problem. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you comfortable with that? I can't hear, Malo. Are you comfortable with the proposition by the state? I may just take an instruction. Go ahead.
Um, I'm listening. Your Worship, we are satisfied with the arrangement. Very well. The 9th of July as proposed, does it suit as well? It does. Thank you, madam. You may stand. The state intends to align you to the High Court or for, for the for trial in the High Court. You are the mayor for that purpose for, to enable the state to prepare the indictment. The matter is postponed until the 9th of July, 2024. You are currently on bail. Your bail is extended on the condition that the 9th of July, 2024, you are at this court, rather at court number 60. Um, I will explain that further and, re and you remain in attendance until the matter is dealt with from half past eight in the morning. You understand? This is court number E. Um, for record purposes, we choose to mention court number 16, but um, your counsel, your attorneys, as well as the state and my office will liaise with everyone involved about which court exactly the matter would be had. In the event that that has not happened, we at court number 16, which is on this build, in this building, the 9th of July 2024, you understand that. The conditions of pay that were set on the 4th of April 2024, when you appeared for the first time, they continue to exist and continue to operate without any amendments. You, have, you understand everything very well then. Um, you may be seated for a moment. I take it it is then the role you have with this uh, court? Thank you, and that's it to, to your worship for constituting this court for us. That is the role. Very well. Um, I'm going to adjourn. Um, previously, you took the chat sheet with, uh, in terms of section 7 of the magistrate's court, it is the clerk of the court that is the custodian of, the, of, co of, of, of all court records. I'm going to, I will not interfere that much, but I will take the chat sheet and make copies so we have something for our records before you 
appropriate discharge it, which should not be the case. <laughs> As the court pleases, I, 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 I understand. Uh, I'm bound by, by law, Your Worship. Uh, uh, just for, for, for uh, the record, we, we, we always uh, sign with the clerk of court when taking it, but proposal is acceptable. Thank you. Very well. The court is adjourned. Yes.